the topic which I'm going to cover now is object oriented programming language. So we'll discuss about this object oriented programming language, which is double uh, OP uh, generally known as oops concepts. Okay. So uh, if we talk about object oriented programming language, which language you'll call an object oriented something uh, which like Generally when I ask this question in interviews and they have not prepared then people say uh, one which have classes and objects uh, They are object-oriented programming language, but that's not the case a complete object-oriented programming language is one which follows certain things like encapsulation Then inheritance then polymorphism in polymorphism both then uh, uh, polymorphism in polymorphism uh, it comes uh, method overloading and method overriding Okay, then uh, we have abstraction and uh, what else is left? Capsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, yeah, abstraction. Abstraction can also be done through two ways in Java. One is abstract class and through inherit, uh, through interfaces. Okay, so we'll see how much we can cover now. Along with this, so these are the topics of language which follows all these classes and object concept, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, and then abstraction. In Java, abstraction can be done through abstract class and through interfaces. Then uh, in polymorphism, we have two method overloading and method overriding. So all these things we'll study now one by one. Classes and objects we have already seen and we have already covered. Encapsulation is something which I'll start with. Other than that, uh, we'll also cover one topic uh, that is uh, access modifiers and class modifiers. Okay, in access modifiers comes this public, uh, then private, protected, uh, then uh, default. Okay, so we'll discuss all the four. Then we have class modifiers. There are two, three class modifiers, but uh, the one which you need to understand is rather two things which you need to understand in class modifiers is one is static and second is final. So these are the topics which we'll be covering uh, before again starting with Selenium. So these are this is a list of topics which I'll be covering and then only we'll move back to Selenium. Okay, so it will take almost uh, one, two more classes today and two more, and then uh, we'll uh, start with Selenium again. Okay, so classes and objects we have already covered. Let's start with encapsulation. So, what is encapsulation? Anyone want to fill in? What is encapsulation? Anyone remembers? Yes, yes, I. You want to say something? I cannot hear you. Uh, it's hiding the logic and just displaying the operation. I guess. Perfect. Perfect. So uh, I'll try to explain that uh, here. See, encapsulation, here you can see that a word capsule is coming. What does capsule means? You might have seen that capsules as a tablet where uh, your actual medicine is put into put inside some some kind of cover okay so what happens is when we take that uh, cover we know that that medicine only okay we don't we don't care about what is inside but actually what is curing you which thing is actually uh, making you perfect uh, curing your disease that is the inside thing so here also in encapsulation when when we say encapsulation that means hiding the implementation part and keeping uh, or you can say 
keeping everything in one unit okay so if i have to explain what is encapsulation encapsulation is wrapping up everything in one single unit let's see how here if you see if i go back to uh, day four when we studied about and uh, this employee so here if you look at this particular class one of the example of encapsulation is class itself see i'm creating one single unit with the name employee which is a type of class and in that single unit we are hiding everything we are keeping everything this class is wrapping up everything right similarly another example if you want to see is this okay this is method calculate salary method again the logic part is encapsulated in one single unit this is an again an example of encapsulation so when we were um, when we discussed about the implementation see when i'm implementing it i'm calling uh, i created an instance of employee class and then i'm calling the methods to achieve whatever i want but do i need what is there inside calculate salary do i care about it no because i know this thing will calculate salary for me okay and the logic part is hidden here in this particular class you cannot see the logic of calculate salary you can only see <coughs> sorry so you can only see uh, the method name so this is one of the example of encapsulation so if i in in one line i have to say what is an encapsulation it will be wrapping up wrapping up everything in one single unit okay class is an example of class is an example of encapsulation where everything is wrapped inside a class all your logic all your methods and all your data is is wrapped in one single unit okay similarly method is another example where the complete logic is wrapped up in one method okay so this is the example of encapsulation any questions here let's just give me a second i have to close the door just give me a second Okay, uh, Susi, you have a question. Is data hiding uh, same as encapsulation? See, all these things uh, complement each other. Data hiding is more like an abstraction. So I'll I'll cover uh, data hiding as well. So that is also something which is which will be covered after this access modified data hiding. Yeah. So all these things actually complement each other. So you. I mean uh, that's a that's that more comes under abstraction thing so we'll discuss more about it when we'll cover abstraction but for now encapsulation is wrapping up everything in one single unit class is an example of encapsulation where you have all your data and your methods wrapped up in single unit and the single unit is known as class okay okay so this is our first oops uh, you can say object oriented concept second is inheritance so i guess most of you might be knowing about this inheritance okay so i'll try to explain it in simple terms see um, you have a class let's say class a okay and then you have a class let's say class b and this has some some features maybe method one okay method one and let's say it has method one then it has some four methods method two method three method four okay then in the class b what you want is you want all these methods method one two three four and along with that you want some more methods maybe these four methods are already uh, has to be there okay uh, let me write it Okay. 
just give me a second uh, method one I copy pasted then method two So I want that these four methods should be there along with that it should also have few more methods like method 5 Okay, uh, method 6 and so on Okay, so one way will be that you'll create a class a you create a class B Okay, then copy paste these method and then add the new one. Okay, uh, what we are doing here we are We are writing the same method again and again Okay, so if let's say something changes here in method 2, I have to go and everywhere change this method 2. Does it a good idea? No. So what we can do is we can say that this class A is a method which has these four methods. Class B is another class which has those four methods. So what I'll do, I'll inherit those methods from here. And remaining one, I'll write myself. Okay, so in a way you are inheriting some of the properties from another class so that you can implement only the new one others you can just reuse okay so this is one of the requirement of having inheritance where you are going to use some of the some of the already existing methods or properties and add the new one yes sai you have any questions is there a difference between extends and inheritance sorry uh, is there a difference between uh, inherit this when you write this class mm -hmm. we write it as uh, class B inheritance, uh, inherited oh yeah extends class here right yeah so extends is the keyword used to inherit I was about to come to that ah, okay okay thanks yeah. okay so here we have some methods and in another class we implemented those four methods along with that we implemented few more so this is one uh, you can say I'll say I'll just remove these four methods from here just a second instead of this I'll simply say all methods all methods from class a and method 5 and method 6 so for that what I can say is I can say that class B inherits class A okay in this way whatever methods we have for class A those will all, all will come to class B along with that few more will come Okay, in Java, instead of this inherits, the word used is extends. So I'll say class B extends class A. Okay, so uh, let's let's take some example. Uh, rather, uh, probably it will be more clear. Okay, so uh, in day eight, I'll create a class, and let's say. I name it as maybe I'll create one more package inside that I'll should create this uh, package and okay so when you have to create multiple packages that means a package inside a package then it should be like your parent package dot the name of the new package let's say inheritance inheritance example okay so I just created this pack uh, package or new package is created inside this now I'll create a class so here it will be uh, let's say I create a class with the name machine okay and this machine class has some methods let's say uh, method one so I'll say void name of the method let's say I'm running as keeping as run System dot and dot print and I'll say machine run. Okay, then I create another method and let's say I name it save. Okay, 
I called it save Okay, so I created a class with name machine and then I created two methods in it Maybe one with the name run and second with the name save. Okay now I create another class And I'll name it as car Okay And here I'll create some methods. Let's say one of the method is uh, what we do in a car. We also run uh, what else? Um, maybe engine run. So I'll say engine uh, run system dot out dot print and car engine run. Okay, then. Let me copy one more method here and uh, what else we do save as maybe a method save as I created a method with name save as so I'll say uh, car save as okay so just some methods I created so I created these two classes machine and car Currently they are individual method the, currently they are individual classes okay now after car I'll say extends I, I'm using a keyword known as extends and then I'm putting the name of the class let's say machine okay now when I when you save nothing is happening here right but when I create instance of these classes, I'll show you something. So I'll create another class, maybe demo machine or a, yeah, demo machine. So I'll keep this public static word main checked. Okay, now I'll create instance of those two classes. So first, let's say I'm creating the instance of machine class. So I'll say machine, then let's say its instance is Mac equal to machine okay I created an instance of machine class if you say Mac dot what do you think which all methods will be available as this machine class is an independent class it does not inherit anything so the methods which are there inside this machine class only those will come so here when I say Mac dot sorry Mac dot you can see that I got methods like run save Okay, so I can call run I can call save Okay, I can say run I can say Mac run When I execute this See machine save machine run executed Similarly if I create another variable of car class. So let's say car uh, Maybe any car auto equal to new car Okay, I created this instance now when I say alto dot if you look at the methods now you can see not only uh, run and uh, I mean uh, the, met the methods of car class that is engine run and save as not only those two methods are coming but methods from machine class are also coming so here if I say here you can see engine run run save save as so look at here machine class machine class car class car class so all the methods from machine class as well as all the methods from car class both are coming okay so I can say engine run I can also say alter dot run so when you execute this you will see um, all the methods of machine class is also executing and when we are calling a method of machine class but from an object of car class that's also executing clear any questions in this anyone any questions here okay now uh, we saw two combination of creating objects let's see the third combination so the th third combination is 
see I'm creating an instance of machine class let's say anything maybe uh, small Mac okay equal to but I'm initializing it with car class first thing is it possible is it a correct thing to do think about what I'm doing I'm creating an instance look at this this what what I'm trying to do I'm creating an instance of machine class and initializing it with initializing it with what initializing it with the with the constructor of car class okay so is it possible so as most of you are saying yes so yes the answer is yes is it is possible but then now the main question is which all methods will be available okay think and answer which all methods should should be there option a all the methods of machine class option B only the methods of car class option C methods of both machine and car what do you think which will be available a B C which option Susie you're saying uh, all the methods from only car class should be there okay what about others Rupesh you are also saying B okay what about others A B C which one a means all the methods only methods from machine B only methods from car C only methods uh, methods from both Nishta you're saying only methods from car class only okay Nishta you have given the correct answer methods from class machine only look at this just recall the time when we discussed about how to create an object when we discussed about creating an object we discussed that there are three steps the first step is declaring a variable second step is instantiating and third step is initializing see here what I am doing I am creating an instance of machine class okay so if I do this then also it's correct right so what does this step is this step means I'm creating an instance of machine class as soon as it encounters new keyword it creates the very uh, all the variables which are defined in here right what is this do this is only to initialize nothing else it does not do anything else other than initializing right so methods only from machine class will be available reason because it's this small Mac is an object of machine class car class is just initializing the variables which might be there inside this okay so <coughs> so when I say uh, small Mac dot you will only see methods from machine class not from others so you can see uh, only methods from machine class run and save are there not from car class anyone has any doubt in it is it clear to those who answered only clock car is it clear so whenever in doubt just just stick to the basic what does basic says basic says that small Mac is an object of machine class that means small Mac will have everything which is there in machine class right next we saw the new keyword we know new keyword is just to instantiate the variables got it then <coughs> then uh, last is car car is a what is this car method car method is a constructor just recall the what is the definition of constructor constructor is just a method it's it's a method which is used for which is used for initializing default values does it has any other purpose no it has only one purpose that is initializing the values that means this car class can only initialize the values okay which values whichever will be available which will be available the one only in machine class that's it that's what it will do okay I'll, I'll give you uh, like I'll, I'll try to make it more clear let's first execute this 
so he's here you can see machine save is executed so i'll try to make it more clear uh, what i'll do here i'll create one constructor car and i'll say i am a car constructor okay then uh, i'll just copy this part we'll go here and we'll create one more constructor with name machine i am a machine constructor okay so i'll execute it now so see what happens i created three instances one by one and you know constructor will be executed as soon as an object will be created right so look at this uh, here i created one uh, one object machine which uh, look at this which constructor is called if you look at here only one constructor is called that is i am a machine i am a machine constructor to make it more clear uh, i'll put some separators okay we'll execute it again now see when this this method is executed machine mac equal to new machine mac look which which constructor is called only machine constructor because it's an instance of machine class and it's also a uh, and we are also calling machine constructor so there is nowhere car in between okay machine does not know that there is something known as car because it's an independent unit it's one independent class right now look at the second one when i created an instance of car class both the constructor are called called machine constructor is also called and car constructor is also called and look at the order machine constructor is called first and car constructor is called later why because this car class this car class extends machine class so this car class will have everything which is there in machine class so everything which is there in machine class will be executed okay so even the constructor will be executed so machine constructor got executed as well as car constructor dot executed okay now the confusing one was the third one so let's come to the third one third one is where we are creating an instance of machine class but initializing car constructor okay so this car constructor okay as this car class extends machine that means this the constructor of this class can initialize all the values of machine class because it it knows it has this machine constructor as well with it okay so that's why this step is possible creating an instance of machine class but initializing with car class so it will have all the methods from here but when constructor will be called it will call car constructor as well as well as machine constructor as well clear rupesh now or any confusion any doubt anyone so these are three ways yes suzy the uh, the session is getting recorded don't worry okay uh, you have a question what if card does not extends machine and then we initialize you'll not be able to initialize then see if i just remove this if i if i remove this extends machine from here you'll not be able to extend you'll get an error here you are getting an error type mismatch cannot convert car to machine as this car class extends machine as your jvm knows that car has everything from machine that's why we are able to initialize this and that's why this car class can call machines constructor as well getting the point rupesh here
okay susie you have any questions uh, can you please repeat that uh, machine small mac is equal to new car uh, the output uh, which comes like first first machine output and then the car output constructor can you repeat that process flow yeah yeah, yeah. okay see uh, just recall the definition of constructor what does constructor do constructor just initialize the default values right so here also when i created this instance so first two are clear to all right how this machine works and then how this car works as this is only an instance of machine only machine methods as it's an instance of car all the methods from machine as well as for car from car will come if i talk about the third one where we are creating an instance of machine class so uh, this object this instance whosoever object it will be like here it's an instance of machine class just remember this point that if it's an instance of machine class it will have methods only from machine class is this point clear and the reason behind it is clear because it does not know anything about car that's why it has only methods from machine class now the issue is with this constructor what happens is this car constructor as this see this car class extends machine okay so car have everything from machine so the variables of machine class can also be initialized by with this car uh, car constructor say for example if i want to uh, if i create one variable maybe a name int uh, engine size okay maybe this variable uh, with the name engine size i create this and if i want to initialize its value maybe 90 horsepower if i want to do that i can do that right okay see it's not giving me any error right so this engine size is 90 it's not throwing any error why because it understands that so here when i'm calling the car constructor this car constructor this car class the constructor in it can initialize the value of machine that's why this is allowed okay but whenever you call this constructor this car constructor not only its own constructor this also calls machines constructor that's why when we executed that uh, you can see that when we executed that both machine constructor as well as car constructor got initialized okay so in simple words if you have to remember what i'm saying is that uh, if you have two classes class a and class b machine and car mach car class inherits machine class then even the constructor of uh, car class can initialize the value of machine that's why this this is possible that's why uh, jvm is allowing you to initialize this variable with car class clear yeah uh, my question is like how car constructor is uh, being consoled uh, where the method is not being sent that's uh, my doubt uh, because we are explicitly calling the constructor but we are not calling the methods this is the reason because car okay. constructor okay. can initialize the values methods are not accessible here we are explicitly calling the methods, but other methods are not at all there. Okay, okay. Got it? It's little confusing. You'll, you'll understand it uh, once you'll go through recordings again and will uh, try yourself, then you'll, you'll get it. But it's an important concept because uh, going forward, you will see web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver, right? You will see that you might have observe that somewhere if you're you might be reading from some articles you might have seen web driver driver equal to new chrome driver but till now till now what we have done is chrome driver driver equal to new chrome driver right we created an instance of same class and initialized with same but you might have observed somewhere web driver driver equal to new chrome driver right so why that is possible that is possible because this this the constructor with we were calling in in chrome driver or firefox driver or any other browser all those inherits web driver so here car inherits machine that's why it is possible 
Sai, you have any question? Yeah, I just want to. This is an example like, of upcasting, right? Huh? Sorry. This is an example of upcasting. Uh, yes, you can. No, no. Actually, this is not upcasting. Uh, that's a totally separate concept. We'll discuss about that in detail. Uh, but. This is like that uh, web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver. That is something which is coming from here. Yeah, you can say that is also an example of upcasting, but real concept is this. Yes, I you have any question? Yeah, uh, I just wanted to like talk about this web driver driver is equal to new Firefox driver. As far as I understand, web driver is basically an interface. Mm -hmm. And so we cannot call all the uh, methods directly. So we create a class called a Firefox class. Mm -hmm. And this driver is basically an object for that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So right. that's how it works. Okay. Yeah, right, right. So the difference, like uh, in interviews, difference people ask is, what is the difference between, OK, I, I'll also ask here. Now. Tell me what is the difference between this small Mac and then this Alto object? Think and answer. What is the difference between Alto object and small Mac object? If in simple terms I say Alto object will have methods from car class as well as from machine class, right? Whereas small Mac will have methods only from machine class clear perfect so similarly if you talk about web driver driver equal to chrome driver and chrome driver driver equal to new chrome driver what is the difference the difference is in the second way in in chrome driver driver equal to new chrome driver it will have methods from chrome driver as well as from web driver from both you'll get the methods similarly uh, if if we talk about the other one that is web driver driver equal to new web driver so in this you will have methods only which are defined in web driver not in chrome driver class so this is the difference i'll try to write it and then probably you can get so here i'll say car class will can access methods from car as well as as well as machine but the other one that is this much small Mac uh, small Mac class can access class or I should say yeah class can access or I should say auto object Object auto object can access methods from car as well as from machine whereas this small Mac object Can access methods from only machine Okay from only machine Okay, so if you recall now if you if you try to uh, go and uh, look at the answer of that uh, though we have not covered uh, interface but still web driver driver equal to new chrome driver okay if i talk about this and i'll say chrome driver uh, driver equal to new chrome driver what is the difference there so the difference lies in this only that here methods from both Chrome driver class as well as from web driver interface both will be available but in this methods only from web driver interface will be available so if this has 10 methods okay then only those 10 methods will be available in this driver whereas if you have this Chrome driver as Chrome driver implements this web driver so it will have methods which are explicitly written in Chrome driver as well as which are there in web driver class. Okay, so this is the difference which is an interview question as well and uh, why we use generally this concept we use this con I mean in, in our selenium projects if I talk about when we use this concept we use this concept when we have to do uh, something like this driver equal to new Chrome driver or we have to use driver equal to new 
Firefox driver. Okay, so uh, what we are achieving here is you can by creating a single object you can initialize it with multiple browsers putting on some condition okay whereas in the second way you can only initialize it with chrome you cannot initialize it with firefox or mozilla i mean mozilla or safari or anything here you can create one instance based on the condition you can initialize it with any here if you have defined it as chrome you have to initialize with chrome only So Rupesh, you have a question. So in first case, initializing with Chrome driver, only constructor will initialize and methods not accessible. Yeah, methods will not be accessible. Okay, uh, the constructor will be there. And there is one more concept which I'll talk about once I'll cover method overriding. That is also, but if I'll explain that now, people will get confused. We'll talk about method overriding and then I'll explain you that one more thing which you'll achieve using this. I'll explain that. Okay. So till now, whatever we have discussed clear to all. And can you answer these questions now? What is difference between web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver and Chrome driver driver equal to new Chrome driver? Okay, Rupesh, you have a question. Can we write car C equal to new machine? No, I was about to come to that. So fourth combination is not possible. It will give you an error. Uh, what what uh, uh, Rupesh is saying? Rupesh is saying, can I do something like this? Car car equal to new machine? No, you cannot do this because machine class is independent. Machine class does not understands car. He does not know his car okay so it's not like a, i mean real parent child relation because in in a, in real life parents know who are their child right but here parents are unknown to their childs child know who is their parent so you can say in inheritance this is my parent class this is my child class child class knows whose parent i mean child class can inherit anyone's property so you can say car knows whose his parent is but parent does not know about his child. Okay. So the last part is little confusing might be little confusing. What I recommend is go through the recordings again and you'll get to know what exactly we are trying to achieve and practice it. Clear any questions anyone? Okay, so if you don't have any question, uh, some part of inheritance is covered. Some will cover with the time. So next topic which I want to cover is uh, that is excess modifiers. Okay, so uh, so inheritance we have covered okay method overloading though we covered little bit but yeah we'll cover it again but i want to cover this excess modifier now okay so what is this excess modifier uh, anyone has any idea what it they should be okay i'll try to explain it's about giving yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Sai. Yeah, uh, uh, what are these access uh, access modifier means? Like, uh, suppose if there is a class mm -hmm. and you want to have some restriction or you want to make it public, Perfect. so depending on the need, so you'll use Perfect. those uh, modifiers. Perfect. Okay, so I'll I'll ex try to explain it uh, uh, in more detail. See, you have a class called machine. Whatever Sai said is the perfect answer, but let, let me try to explain it a little more. See, you have this class machine. You created some variables. Let's say one of the variable is engine and I create one more variable int uh, maybe uh, tire size. Okay, anything. So I created this variable, these two variables and we have these methods. 
okay now whatever variable we created and whatever method we created we have to access them where all can you access them you can access them within this machine class you can access them in the inherited class okay or you can access them by creating an instance right and you can access them outside a package also using any of the way i repeat i have a machine class in which we have some variables and some methods when i have to access these methods and variables i can access them by inheriting so here if you can say i want to uh, call run method so i'll simply say run no error nothing i can simply access without creating any object so you can access this method in an by inheritance or by creating object like here i called mac dot save mac dot run so there are two ways one is by inheritance and second is by creating an instance and where all we can access we can access within the same class we can access outside the same uh, outside that class but within same package okay and we can access outside a class also outside a package okay maybe in day uh, here in i created another package with the name day 9 and i want to create a class inside that and i want to access that okay so in in a brief if i say uh, what are all access we can do we can access any method and variable so we have access modifier for methods and variables okay for classes also we have but we'll discuss about classes in detail later for now i'm discussing about methods and variables okay so for methods and variables we can access within same class we can access outside a class we can access outside a class as well as outside a package okay by two ways one by creating an instance second by inheritance will you remember these five points how many ways we can access a variable two ways by creating an instance by by inheritance where wherever we can call we can call within same class outside a class but same package outside a class and in different package so if you remember these five points then uh, remembering uh, these access modifiers will be very easy now let's let's talk about the access modifiers so we have four access modifiers public private protected and default for default no keyword is used okay for public protected and uh, for public private and protected same is the keyword public is the keyword for public private is the keyword for private and protected is the keyword for protected now let me explain now this public as the name says access can be access everywhere methods which are uh, which are public can be accessed anywhere anywhere within a project okay within a project they can be accessed anywhere private on the other hand are methods and variables methods and variables which can be accessed within same class only within same class only so private methods and variables uh, methods and variables which are private can be accessed within same class only you cannot access them outside see if i say this currently if you see i have not put any keyword before this int before this int right so they are default we saw that default uh, variables does not have any keyword no keyword is used okay so here we don't have any keyword so they are they are uh, default variables okay if we put private see as soon as i do control s in car class we called that 
right so if i hover over this the uh, the field machine dot engine size is not visible what it is saying it's not visible that means private variable cannot be accessed outside a particular class no matter where that class is okay you cannot access them not even through inheritance not even through creating an object okay nishta you have a question within a project means outside package also within a project means within this this qa tech hub 03092017 okay anyways inside this also we we create this src folder only so inside this src folder we have inside this src package we have everything so so uh, within this within this package you can use everywhere this public clear so public and private clear to all no matter what way you are accessing a variable whether it's by creating an instance or by inheritance public can be accessed everywhere private can only be accessed within same class any questions anyone yes sir you have any question okay so Sorry, then we sir. okay okay then we have two left which are little uh, i mean they are also easy let 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 me try see protected and default default is somewhere we don't have any keyword okay so like here it does not have any keyword so protected and default are quite similar to each other what they says is for the both i'm i'm writing together uh, protected and default cannot be access outside outside a package okay protected and default cannot be access outside a package via okay let me let me write one by one uh, default is something which cannot be accessed default cannot be accessed outside a package at all i mean no ways uh, even if you try to create an instance then also you cannot access if you try to create it uh, if you try to inherit it then also you cannot access whereas protected are similar to similar to uh, default but via inheritance they can be accessed outside as well outside a package oh, sorry yeah uh, yeah but outside a package Okay, so what does this mean? Default cannot be accessed at all outside a package. Whereas if you are making it as protected, then within same package, they are like public. But outside a package, using inheritance, they can be accessed. Without inheritance, they cannot be accessed. Okay, clear? I'll try to give you one example. I'll create one more class, maybe. uh maybe water machine that is also a type of machine okay let me create another package and in that i'll day 9 okay i'll move this water machine to this copy and paste I'll delete it. Okay, we created a day nine water machine, and if I say extends uh, machine, 
Okay, so extend machines. So uh, like as this machine class is from different package, we have to tell from where we are extending. So it see it it has taken the complete path day eight dot inheritance example dot machine. Okay, so if I create its constructor here. Okay, and if I try to access uh, that method called engine, see that is not available to me. Why? Because this in the machine class, the in this engine size variable which you have created, it's a default. Default variable cannot be accessed outside a package. But if you if the same if you make it protected, okay, if you make it protected, see, I can access through inheritance I can access and I can provide value to it clear any questions anyone Uh, what are you saying uh, Nishta whenever you are creating a new class then you have to click on checkbox in narrate abstract methods What is that purpose? That's just like there you can ignore it We'll talk about extra abstract methods in detail for now. You can just ignore it That's by default there. Let it be. I'm not uh, touching it. We'll talk about abstract methods in detail Any questions anyone here? Uh, okay, Priyanka you're saying too much for the day. Okay, then we can end the session here uh, Just just a recap of these access modifiers. We have four access modifiers Public private protected default public which can be accessed everywhere So wherever the method has a public you can access anywhere by both ways by creating an instance by creating by inheriting second is private private can ex can be accessed within same class Protected protected is something which can be accessed outside only through inheritance not through uh, Not through uh, creating an instance, okay, and fourth is default default means they cannot be accessed at all outside a package Okay, so these are four access modifiers Okay based on this uh, many interview question comes up. So I'll keep on asking Okay uh, Yeah, uh, maybe tomorrow. I'll ask a few questions Okay, and uh, I have a request now uh, because most of today was theory and uh, I don't have much examples also uh, I mean much much interview questions. Sorry much assignments also based on this oops concept once all will be covered then I can give you one project Okay, but uh, what I want from you is if you get time uh, tomorrow and you have uh, a week times as well because uh, Next weekend. I'm not available. I had planned leaves I told earlier in the start also so the next class uh, I mean tomorrow after tomorrow next class will be on 21st so you have two weeks time Tomorrow probably I'll try to complete few more uh, Oops concept. Okay, so you have two weeks time. I what I want from you is there is a book known as SCJP by Katie Syrah Okay, or any book for uh, for that matter if you can just go through all the topics which we have covered in oops, okay, so the book is SCJP by Katie Syrah It's not that you have to go to this book whatever book suits you whatever you like you can go through the, that book This book is something where these oops concepts are given in detail. I want you to go through all those topics theoretically and uh, Yeah, it's available free of cost uh, as a PDF so you can just download from here 
Rubesh, do you have any question? Because lots of noise was coming, so I just muted you. Yeah, so this is the link. Uh, so it's a wonderful book. Just cover these topic. This is the book. Okay, I just pinged the URL. Okay, and uh, let me tell you what all topic I want you to cover. What happened? Okay, so I guess it's it got stuck. Okay, so what all you have to cover is just these topic classes and objects encapsulation inheritance polymorphism uh, Yeah, this till this only not even overriding only overloading So only these topics if you can cover Today that will be very good. Otherwise you will have two weeks time. You can cover them that time Okay, and also the success modifier Okay, and this thing I'll make notes in your project I'll create one text file with name notes and paste there uh, so that you can get in your project only right click new uh, file okay cancel right click new file and the name is uh, notes dot txt Okay, so I'll upload the code after your class uh, within half an hour you'll get all your code and everything so from there you can From inside that you can take the notes as well Okay, so that's all for today any questions now anyone?